Okay. Looks like we're live with this. <laughs> Which would be fantastic. So let's keep an eye on that. Ooh. Okay. I would say uh, just time to uh, check quickly if the stream is coming through as it should. And uh, after I've done that, uh, we can pretty much just straight away go into gameplay. Alright, looks like the stream is coming through as it should. The only thing I still need to do is, uh, is start the, uh, start the tags and all that on the video just to make sure that it actually gets found. <laughs> because if it doesn't get found, then nobody watches it. And if nobody watches it, oh well then, uh, there's a little point to streaming, is there? No. Videos. I'm just going to copy the tags from uh, the previous uh, live stream that we did for this game. Because that, that went uh, reasonably well. Actually, very well. 2,000 views. Wow. That is, that is something. Cool. Okay, just quickly editing that. Should be about like 30 seconds. Tags are easy to copy. Um, just need to enter the game name so that you guys can find it. Outpost Affinity Siege. There we go. Right, let's save that. It's funny because I have about eight hours in this uh, game so far, and most of it was spent in my buddy. Waska's, uh, Waska's game. He's the guy uh, you will have seen with the tremendous amount of guns on his uh, on his um, base. So so yeah, let's uh, let's dive into the game. I would say. <clears throat> Okay. Let's hit continue. If you hear weird noises, um, I am probably vaping, and I apologize if that comes through too loud. I have created a noise gate, so it shouldn't annoy you guys too much, but it might, and I'm sorry if that's the case. I'm also, of course, monitoring the uh, the um, chat, so if there's anything... Is there no way to just have it not super sample? Because it would be great if it could just... Oh yeah, local. There we go. Uh, rather than doing it via any of the... Uh, any of the other silly ways. Right, let's turn the sharpening down a little bit, because it was still slightly aggressive. The last time I looked at it. We don't need dynamic resolution. Field of view is fine. Minimap zoom is fine. Ultra, 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 ultra. Perfect no drop in quality. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. Let's uh, talk to this guy. Ready. We're going in. Yeah, we're ready to enter the battlefield. Come on now. I just hope I have all the right things equipped. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> I have to say, for what I would consider a double A game, um, 
it's not a triple A title, definitely not. But it looks it looks reasonably good, and the uh, the player controller is is really competent. I mean, just look at how good that that looks. That looks fantastic. Love that there's no full damage. That is definitely. Uh, I need to get used to all the buttons again. It's been a little while. Oh, you know what? Let's just switch to those. It makes sense. Just out of interest. Yeah, as you can see, my uh, my base is still tiny. That's what she said. Um. <laughs> We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Captain John. Commander Faye. You've already kicked up quite a storm in the few ops you've joined. Apologies, Captain. There's no place for apologies in the field, especially not from a commander. Your responsibility is to make the right call. I'll keep that in mind, Captain. All comms to the ship were lost in the canyon up ahead. Flight logs show no indication of Aitos or airborne attacks. Which means they might have run into another kind of trouble. The same as us. The outpost can't breach the canyon, but we can. On foot. You take the front line. I'll provide cover fire from the rear. Copy that. Okay, we'll take the front line. Not an issue in and of itself. Down. A liquid nitrogen leak from the wreckage has frozen the gate shut. Take this. Sense? Just how many did you bring? <laughs> Inject the pyrozen and thaw out the doors. Alright, let's put the pyrozen in our weapon. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's... There we go. Problem solved. Really? <laughs> gets <laughs> Super Future Soldier gets stuck on ice rock. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Alright. It looks like the stream is not far behind from where I'm actually playing, so... Oh, I went the wrong way. Lol. That's what happens when you look at your second screen. Stay put and stay frosty. Those sweepers are all out of power, but their weapon attachments might still come in handy. Here, kid up. Double tap. <laughs> yeah, no, that double tap barrel is shit. Ah, oh, I actually have to equip it. That's horrible. Alright, there we go. Now switch it back. Alright, let's head back towards the first rescue spot. Okay. 
At least they give you some decent, uh, some decent things. I think that's it in terms of enemies. Yeah, that was fairly competent. <laughs> you guys will have to deal with a lot of incompetence if you're watching me, but uh, yeah, every once in a while I do well. Jung, what have you found? It's a Seth Five part, a model from two decades back, designed for human use. Let's leave the details for the debris. Right now, we need to stay sharp. Copy that. Okay. Make sure we're reloaded. Always sucks being in a firefight and running out of ammo, especially if you've got good equipped stuff. Shield sight. Oh, that's that's cool. Gives you a bit of a shield. I don't know, man. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> the, the values are... Yeah, no. Uh, that is just totally not worth equipping. At all. This must be the place. Huh? Survivors? Battle stations! What the... Battle sta... Oh! It's actually nice to have the game feel reactive to what I do for once, because when I was playing with my buddy, um, the peer-to-peer -peer connection that this game makes use of is really not ideal, and there's a lot of lag behind it. Who the hell are they? Seals laggies from before the war. I thought they died out. So they're the ones who brought down our ship. Is that a hidden spot? So. Without their no. Uh, oh yeah, I still have my pickup gloves. Forgot about those. Head for the exit, Commander. I'll take the rear. Those pickup gloves are really good, especially if you have uh, when you use the scan. Shit, it's cryos there. I can't move. Take the research and get out of here. I don't kill that guy. I just met him. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Faye, I've hacked the enemy network. EUA comms should be back online. Our AI just sent me your combat log, Faye. Sir, I'm sorry. Shang was... Don't let his sacrifice be in vain. We'll take it from here. Engaging with humans is never simple. But now that we know what we're dealing with, we can prepare ourselves. Take the trail to the south of the canyon. It'll lead you to Outpost 11. Then we can scramble a ship for your extraction. We estimate there to be no survivors. Copy that. Commander, I'm picking up weak vital signs from the cabin wreckage up ahead. Roger that. Okay. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> are, are you EUA? Affirmative, ma'am. Commander Fay of Outpost 11. Director Tracy Grant. Report to Phase 2 <laughs> Jeff. We've got a survivor. Can you walk? Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys saw what I just saw, but he has the mic outside of his helmet. <laughs> How much sense does that make? Wouldn't you want to have the mic inside your helmet? Across the area, Director Tracy. I fear they gunned down your ship. They call themselves 
The envoy. You know who they are? They searched the cabin, but didn't realize I was still alive, thankfully. Oh, she and looks beaten up. I passed out. That's not ideal. Who knows how long? Game two, just before you got here. All right, come on. I'll get you out of here. Captain Zhang found a part left by those enemies, Juliet. Model Seth 5. Mean anything to you? Seth 5 is a cerebral interface that links a human mind. Right. How can I clear this debris, Juliet? You're out of Outpost 11's range. Find explosives nearby and set a charge. Good thinking. Okay, so interacting with stuff uh, skips conversations. That's not great. Okay, so you can manufacture stuff here. That's that's. Wait, what? Right, assembler. Oh, did I already create it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. I hope that won't kill my uh, comrade. That would not be ideal. Retreat to a I want me to plant it. Okay. What is a safe right distance? Don't you take another step, rookie? The intelligence division. I'm with Director Tracy. We're on our way into. Don't move another inch. Do you copy? What's your problem now? Stay put and look up. Unknown object heading straight for your 20, Commander. Director, get back! Your ride's on its way, Faye. Clear out the hostels and head to the LZ. Alright. That seems fairly easy. Get the fuck up, rookie! Careful, Faye. Your vitals are unstable. Director Tracy? The ship's here. Let's go, Commander. Your ride's on its way, Faye. Clear out the hostels and head to the LZ. Gains a large amount of XP after use. Okay. Now we just need to protect the outpost. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, these have enough ammo. Uh, yeah, and I have ammo boxes. I'm pretty sure I have an ammo box maker. Yeah, here we go. Do you mind getting in here? There we go. At least she's safe. Uh, I'm not sure if she can die or not, but yeah, it would not be ideal if she could. <laughs> I like how those guys just look like they fell out of it. Yeah, no, they just seem to be landing by themselves. Yeah, we're still very light on turrets. You stay up there, you hear me? Oh, she's coming all the way down, isn't she? Oh, the pathing seems alright. I mean, she made it here. Pathing in the first couple of days was horrible. For friendlies and enemies alike. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Using the pyro ammo.
Hello to those that are watching right now. Feel free to say hi in the chat. Always nice to meet new friendly faces. And if you uh, haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Just so you see when I'm uh, online again. Fantastic. Ah, the graphics on this thing. I mean, I'm really impressed. For, a, for an indie, what I would consider an indie game, this game looks phenomenal. I mean, look at the the texture on that. It looks wet. It looks like it's been rained on. The flames look fantastic. The reflections are there. It just looks brilliant. Yeah, even here. I'm not sure if the game has ray tracing or not. Uh, I don't think it does. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I see Reflection Quality Ultra, but it doesn't say if it's ray traced or not. Eh, we'll see. We did it, Looks pretty damn good, is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, let's leave. I love how it says click anywhere, but if you click on it, it doesn't work. Oh, I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be talking, but I didn't hear him. <laughs> I think he's told us to get to command division. Because that was fairly short. Ooh, we've got some frame rate dips there. And now we're back. The Mechanos are using drop pods from the RSS-2 to send nebulas into combat. They're humanoid monsters bred by SEAL for war. Their physiology might be strong, but they appear not to be very clever. Also, a new faction of SEAL worshippers has been popping up in the area. They call themselves the Envoy. Most of them have undergone cybernetic transplants. Their wits make them a deadlier foe than those mindless monsters. We're in the dark until we get a better picture. We've got to link up with Outpost 7 ASAP. Now, do your preparation and wait for my call. Okay. Faye, the command division has just activated a new module. Check it out. Let's go and check it out, I guess. Again. Shut it. Come to the intelligence center and find the spot with the largest screen. Okay, let's not do that right now. Let's go to the intelligence center. That makes sense. Head out for another battle. Well, spit it out. This here is the risk analysis system. It collects and builds automated models so you always have a reliable source of real time battlefield intel. All right, got it. Hey, I'm not done yet. Come back and check this out. Here is a list of all encounters and risks you have run into. It's always better to know about your enemies before you head into battle. Why is there so little information available? You understand the concept of analysis? What am I supposed to analyze if you haven't brought me any data? Go to the surface and collect some. So I must first stick my hand into the fire to learn more about it. Is that how it is? Of course. 
Each entry we have in the EUA database has been traded for half a dozen lives. Now all we need to do is take the risk once and save a ton of lives. Okay then. Wait, hold on. What is it now? If you ever need to hack into something or break some encryption, come to me and I'll help you out. So helpful now. Are you the same person from the last transmission? You know what? If it weren't for you and Bruce... Look, I'm just happy you brought Tracy back. That's why I... He's just trying to say thank you. Shut up! Where's that personnel data I asked for? But I haven't slept in two days. Then you better get your ass to work if you want to. <laughs> okay. That's the list of local operatives done. I mean, these are identical, right? Remove operative. Right. Try to recruit some operatives. Okay. Let's go back to Juliet. I have to say the uh, conversations are bloody hilarious. Are you sure about that tactical advantage? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see uh, how, how sure she is about that tactical advantage. Let me also just quickly check the stream. Oh, for some reason it set itself back to top chat. Um, right. Okay. Excellent. Scavenge resources, build facilities, and defend against enemy attacks until evacuation. You'll have preparation time before enemies come, when you should build up your defense. If the outpost should be destroyed, wait for your emergency, for our emergency aircrafts to get you out. Okay. Um, these events will affect the outcome of the ensuing battle. Destroying the enemy signal tower, stop current attack wave, focus on locating and demolishing it with heavy firepower. Okay. Cool. Cool, I have to modify that. I should probably, uh... Yeah, I should probably, uh, build some more... Research center. Yeah, let's research more stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey. Whoa, okay. Smart stake wall. Sure. Let's get another ammo maker. You can never have enough of those. Especially when you have lots of turrets. I saw this with uh, with Waska's base and a generator as well. Um, I saw this with uh, Waska's base and he kept running into 
the issue of uh well initially we ran into the issue of not having enough power and then he upgraded a bunch and then we had so much power we didn't know what to do with it <laughs> so it's it's definitely worth uh definitely worth having that yeah, let's build some more walls utility wall uh yeah go on then armored walls Okay. Probably should have built a couple of Amparax. I don't know. Uh, that was slightly stupid. Um, ah. um, okay, just bear with me one moment. Should be able to... There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's just... Scroll to change slot. Ah. There we go. Okay, that works for me. I wonder if we even need a trip to the shooting range. I don't think so. Oh. Yeah, if you hear burping, that's my wife in the background. <laughs> she is uh she's almost gotten as good as me. <laughs> Alright. Go to border woodland difficult th difficulty three and eliminate the apostle. Right, why am I walking around? Um I want to go to the hangar and customize. Yeah, sorry for the noise of me op about to open this drink. There you go. Yeah, I need to get more Amparax. It just makes sense. Ah, let's skip that. Put a couple of... Uh... Yeah, I mean, at this point, we can almost start expanding. Um, because... Oh, doesn't like it when I try and do that. Go. Then we can bring the doors forward and all that nonsense. Sometimes it struggles a little just because of the three-dimensional aspect of it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's getting fairly good, though, at, at figuring out where you're trying to place it exactly. Um, okay, how do I remove component? There we go. Yeah, let's remove that, let's remove that, let's remove that. Let's remove the door frame. Let's remove those. And then we can... Yeah, let's put an armored wall. Armored wall. Uh, which way is... I assume the armor is the black part on the outside, and slash, or I hope that it is, because if it isn't, then uh, I'm not really helping my case. <laughs> okay, so let's put, there we go. There we go. 
but it really make, makes more sense to have the armored walls at the front. I don't know what I'm doing there, but you know, hey ho, here we are. <laughs> I guess I could put a... Fine. Yeah, just a little bit of rejigging here. I have to start like this because otherwise I won't have enough walls. Let's put the door frame in the front first and foremost. Yeah, right there. I, I see one problem that could arise with this and that is that uh, it's, I need to bring the turrets forward as well. Okay, that makes sense. And that turret can go... Uh, there we go. Let's put that up here. We can put that over here. The amp rack. Oh, that's why the amp rack's a pain in the neck, because it takes like an entire... Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I would argue that's a good start. <laughs> I would also argue that I probably built too many turrets. <laughs> just just a few it's okay right <laughs> I guess what I can do is I can uh, yeah I still have utility tiles there you go Wait, can I build onto no it won't let me do that for some reason okay so I do have some hard limits I wonder how far I can go over those, because I saw Bosca had a tremendously huge, uh, he had a tremendously huge base. Right. Okay, now let's put the door back in the door frame. Would be a bit silly to have a door frame and no door. Let's put a window at the front on the right. Okay, now let's put a couple of generators. Do I need a utility wall for these? That is my question. I believe I might do, yes. Okay. So let's... Yeah, let's replace... Yeah, that. Let's remove that, put a utility wall in its place. Now let's see if I can place that. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, that is what is needed. I wonder if I can place, like, another utility wall there, and if it will let me place them, or if they will start interfering with one another, that will be interesting to see. Because uh, that way I could have them all just in one sort of slot, which would be nice to have. Oh, that works! Yeah, that is... Okay, cool. Yeah, problem solved. Um, cool, okay. Well, I would say we need to, uh, at least at the top, expand the space a little more. Oh, I've only got one tile left. Ah, oh, you must be joking. All right, well, I don't really need these utility tiles at the, at the front here. Um, oh, and that one's got hold to... <laughs> no, officer. I, I do not know what the word overkill means. <laughs> That's going to look impressive, at least initially, when it, uh, when it starts firing. That's cool. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can take that one out too. Move it. I mean, I could totally... Oh, yeah, no. Some... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably still size-bound for some... By, by something. Nope, won't let me attach there either, but let me just double check something. Is that enough space for a second turret? Just no. Okay. Yeah, no, it ain't. That's definitely a fair point. Okay, well, this one will go over here. That one will go over there. Front of the armored panel. And we're good. We've only got one left, and that one can go in front of the window. Whoa. 
just just to start with, all right, let's put a second ammo maker down because ammo makers are stupendously important. Ooh. Okay, we got one ammo maker there. Wait, I can place that right there. Can a person stop? Yeah, we should still be able to get through there. Worst case scenario, you'll, you'll jump over it. Like, I don't really see that being an issue. If it is an issue, I will eat my words and uh, a bit of humble pie. Yeah, let's put these utility walls up, get those generators in. Ah, come on. I want you. Let me attach it there. There we go. I'm in no way, shape, or form going to be able to emulate my buddy's base. He spent a lot of time on it, and quite frankly, he's also got a bit more of a mind for these things. He's pretty, pretty smart when it comes to these things. Cool. There we go. Reach an outpost value of ten thousand. It's over 9,000. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Go then. Go to Border Woodland Difficulty 3 and eliminate the Apostle. Commander of outpost 11, Fang yeah, I'm happy with the Outpost. I mean, this guy is a little bit of a, of a douchebag, but... Ammo packs. I had more stuff than this. That's interesting. Ammo. Nine ammo crates and a portable package. Very interesting. Okay. I mean, a lot of things like this, right? These can be stacked. Can be stacked. <laughs> like, why are they not stacked from the start? Is that that's a pyro, that's a cryo, that's a standard. Right, eighteen thousand, thousand, thousand. Energy bar. I mean, I don't believe I'll need all these healing injectors. Order food, order soda, but you know what? Uh, that's an EXP injector. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's go from here. Uh, border Woodland, that's where it wants me to go, and then it wants me to go to... Difficulty 3? I... Ah, there we go. Excellent. Risks, all of these. Well, they don't seem so risky to me, to be honest. Commander of Outpost 11. Fang crap. Let's do this. Alright, now we need to see where to start. How much power do we have? Okay. Power explorate power regular exploration. I don't no, recover enough valuable items to load a boss on the recovery day. Right, so there's no real... Right, right, right. Because usually there's what looks almost like a... Uh, well, what is essentially your target for that mission. But uh, I don't see it, so let's just go. See what we get.
How much you love me? <laughs> I love you lots, baby. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just my wife checking in. <laughs> bribery. <laughs> Okay, so my expos field is still very small. So we definitely need to expand that. The bigger your base gets, the bigger your base uh, expos field gets. I believe you get like boosters for that, but don't don't hold me to that. Um, I believe there's a scan mode. Yeah, area scan that costs five energy. Alright, let's do a quick one. Alright, let's go here. I should probably just literally scan everything I see, to be honest. Makes the most sense. Um, what? Oh, that was a door. That's on the other side of the wall. There's nothing in here. Otherwise we would have picked it up by now. Uh, I can't get through to that side, can I? Let's see. Probably through the roof. I've seen a couple of... Oh no, there's a door. And there's another room here? Yeah. Ah, yes. Always check the toilets, they might have soda. Please note, this advice is not given by a health professional. <laughs> I'll get up there, can I? Oh, maybe if I... If I... Oh, I might be able to... Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. There we go. Yeah, and that leads down here, so I could have gone through there as well. There's nothing here. Oh, there might be a dr There's probably a drone in there. Yeah. What? I did not do anywhere near as much damage to that drone as I thought I would. Yeah, I should have jumped in through the top. They still spot you, but you just have a little bit more time. Moderately increases radius. Okay, let's have a look at that. Ah, whoops. I uh, hit the wrong button. Great, now I've forgotten. There we go, it's Q. <laughs> ah, silly. Silly me. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's it. This map is fairly empty. One stack of abundant increases max down by 20. Nah, I'm good. Detector, yeah, detectors are good to have, but you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this healing injector because it's taking space. Uh, get, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm definitely gonna use the exp injector. Just making things a little neater. There we go. That's easier. Alright, recovery. I mean, there should literally be no enemies on this map. If there are, I'd be very surprised. You can stand on that. <laughs> It'll catapult you out. I wonder if it keeps... Yeah, it tops up the ammo count when you go to a new mission. That's it. Alright, let's end this exploration.
Incident reward container expansion. Expand the space in the container. Uh, for each kill on an enemy by hitting their weak point, attack increases by three points. Now I'll rather have the outpost buff. That doesn't connect anywhere. Power 12, power 48. I don't know, because it feels like from here, just by the way it looks, I will have to go back. Which feels like a waste. So let's go to the danger ahead. Designated recovery. Right, okay. Let's go to danger ahead first. Okay, at least we have some enemies on the map. My turrets are not going to engage them, they're too far away, I think. If they get closer though, my turrets will engage, so that's really not an issue. Yeah, that's the outside of the zone, so we have very little to worry about. My friends don't even bother with the ore, just because apparently it's like barely negligible, but oh, it's there. Might as well at least pick a couple up. Yeah, there's probably nothing up there. These broken ones, in my experience, they usually have very little to nothing on them. It's basic materials. So you can gather these, but taking them apart takes energy. And especially if you're still trying to get to another place, it's not the best idea. Uh, you usually want to like take apart the ones that you get on recovery day. There's always a couple. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I see stuff up here, and there's a marking up here. So let's go, yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a building up here, perfect. With a lot of enemies inside, by the looks of it, either inside or up top. Let's, uh, let's check, oh, there's a, what looks to, like a ladder, or at least a place I could jump up on. Multi-purpose site. Okay, I need a key card for this. Why does it say oops? Because I missed it? Interesting. And nothing else up here really. There's a couple more down there. Might as well go backwards. Start the far end. I don't think there's going to be any enemies back here. But I also don't think there's any loot here. Ooh, I almost got myself stuck. There's something. That can't be it. it looked like there was something else. Nope. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Right, back to the house. Let's clear them out and then loot everything we can, provided there's not a locked door.
And hello to everyone watching right now. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday evening. Heard something here on my left. There he is. Oh. There you go. Plants are apparently harder than bullets. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> Who's just at his nine to five, and I come in and shoot him. Poor, poor guy. What's that extra Titan spike now? We're good. Yeah, these are all open. So if there's anything here to pick up, I will have. Yeah, nothing here. Bar oh, Z chest. Oh. Okay, I haven't checked this side yet, but I keep hearing stuff from this direction, so... Oh. Now he's outside. What? You guys are seeing this, right? There we go. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You did it for me. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any better. Door smash might attract chasers. Okay. Right. Hey, it worked! <laughs> I could have totally opened it from this side. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get those XP injectors in, because uh, that was the wrong button. Where are they? There. Well, there's one. This one I had two. Didn't I just pick one up? Am I crazy? What's happening here? Oh, maybe I didn't have space for it? Let's double check, because missing out on something like that would... De I definitely picked it up. Interesting. Oh yeah, and you can destroy tires for free, which is good. You know, little vandalism. Never hurt anyone. Interesting. That that tire doesn't want me to get to. All right. Well, that's one part. Uh, down there we have a couple. Minazong goes all the way to back there. Yeah, it should be relatively quickly. Should be quick. That's outside of the zone, isn't it? Yeah, that's all outside the zone. Alright, well, back we go. That's that. Sometimes it just gives you very empty maps, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Alright, just for fun, let's stand on the container this time around. If we can. I don't think I can activate it from up there, but we can try. Yeah, I don't need that. MPS, tech points, scrap metal. Yeah. Damage and efficiency fluctuate randomly and slightly. Yeah, nah, I'm good. Uh... Okay. 
I wonder if I can run up fast enough for me to... I don't think so. No! Oh, yeah, no. No chance. Oh well. We tried. I could probably just finish those guys by myself, to be honest. Interesting. Oh, I need to aim slightly above. Switched ammo. Let's just go and pick all that up. Be a shame to waste those tech points. And I believe that's it for this map. Against marked enemies. Uh, define marked enemies, I guess. How much power do I have left? I mean, that's the designated recovery. Return to base, instant loot. See, oh, my turn detecting a stash in that nearby crater. Try to avoid the harmful Xenium if you intend to retrieve it. Don't touch the ground, look for something to stand on. Oh, right, inside the crater. Oh, there's a nice amount of enemies here. <laughs> Damn it. That was one uh, space bar too much. Construct a Titan Spike for free in command mode. Does that cost me anything? We'll see. <laughs> that is the answer. Okay, that's where I started, so next stop is over there, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, I should probably... So again, the wrong thing. Keep pressing the wrong damn buttons. 2,000 uh, cryo ammo there you go and I'll just go for electro ammo interesting okay 
this, I believe, is a bunker of some kind. And I believe you have to blow this up with explosives. But I don't think I have any. No, okay. Well, we can, we can check this. Oh, wait. It's got killed because of the elevator. It took so long. Oh, I don't see the elevator doing much. And I'm probably missing something too. This is fairly... Ah! Oh, come on. There we go. Well, the elevator wasn't a problem. Definitely heard some enemies in here, so. There we are. I actually have not been in one of these. And I don't have any lockpicks, of course. Yeah, and there's nothing in here. Wonderful. Fairly straightforward of a note. Uh, right, this is where I started. Oh, look at that. The whole place looks way different. I prefer the moody ambient light, though. Like, I don't know. This just makes me want to go through this place more than... Oh look, it's not scary at all. <laughs> okay, well, can't get in any of those. Elevator is causing noise. Oh. Wait, is it coming down or is it? Yeah, that thing's coming down. Okay. Yep, yeah, we read that. Looks like that's it, though. In terms of exploration, there isn't much more to this. This was also locked. It's not like I'm really in a rush. I'll be honest with you. Oh look, up, it's much quicker. Town score. Great. I jump into one window for the room that needs a lockpick. Are you serious? Fine, I'll go in the front door like a good boy. And I struggle with every room that requires a lockpick, even though I could just jump through the side. See? That was the front door. MG turret barrel. Oh, my backpack is full already? Yeah, it's not full. See? Interesting. There we go. Whoa. Oh, right, because this thing kept trying to grab him. <laughs> Let's make some space. Yeah, 
how hot that's portal there we go right now if i i mean i really don't have any use for all these grenades i've never used these grenades yeah i can't even use that right now oh right takes a little while to use stuff slab. Oh, come on. Um, is there anything I really don't... Oh, yeah, energy bar. Go on, then. I think metal slabs are only two tiles large, so... Let's see if I'm correct. Nope. Must be a four, then. It shouldn't be too tough. Or I could just run back and come back. That's probably the wiser choice. Let's go and collect composite fiber container one. Wait a minute. Oh, it won't let me won't let me destroy those. Interesting. Oh, out this door we go. Back to the base. Deliver the stuff. Once we've delivered the stuff, we can come back. Oops. Alright, let's go back out to the school. And I believe once we've done the school, we've Pretty much, yeah, we've done everything. Oh, even with the school around, these robots never learned not to stand in front of a gun. I'm afraid the uh, school system has failed them. Should you be hearing a lot of grumbling, that's my stomach. And I apologize for stomach noises. That's a pick lock. Yeah, let me, um, before I go all this way again, I'll just jump in here and collect the stuff I didn't collect earlier. Another metal slab. Where was the metal slab? Is it in here? Yeah. Right. Can I get up through it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Well, I can do that in a moment. Ah, do it now. It's fine. Big. Oh, you see, you can get onto the other balcony. Got it. Okay, so these doors are all... Interesting. I wonder if that thing has a balcony. Nope, does not. Door over there, which I assume you can only access from that side. Oh, let's see how easy it is to... Oh! Scan gloves! Look at that. Now we're coming in on this side. Is the opposite side. This door can be opened. Yeah, 
this is where I was earlier. Makes sense. I'm not sure why I have not found the item yet. Oh wait, there's one place that's still marked. It's in that direction. Behind the base. Ah, yes, this is what he was saying about not being able to stand in the containers. Yeah, on, on the ground. But that can't be it. Polymer. So I am definitely missing something here. The question is what? Okay, let me uh, let me use one of these. Okay. Okay, there's the THI key card. That's good. So now I can open the thing in the school and underground. I should have gone this way first. Now I have to backtrack a bunch. Love it. <laughs> yes, this is uh, riveting gameplay. <laughs> Thank you guys for sticking around. I appreciate it. Right, let's bring all this stuff back first. Hitting a target generates a shield. Now that's a fairly useful one. One. There we go. Right, so back to the underground part. Let's go there first, just because I'm not sure it'll be there, but it's just a quick one to check. There we go. Love that there's no full damage. Ah, the elevator's doing jack. Okay, so this is the lockpick section. What was up here? THI keycard, there we go. Nice. You are joke really? Really? Oh, this is some ball. Yo, this is bullshit. You put a lock door here, and then right behind it, you put one that requires a lock. I think I can build lock picks, but let me... Oh, this is bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. Uh, right, so that was bloody waste of a card. I wonder what happens if I stand underneath this. Will I just get crushed to death? Or will I be stuck forever? That is truly annoying. Absolutely annoying. Let's go to the school first because I remember there was a there was a door here. Uh, was it? Was it? No, it was on the other side, at the top. I believe it was the first one on the left. Something like that. There was one that was there. MGT key card. Okay, so we can't open that. Let me let me do a. Okay. That's the one. Okay. Silly. Now, 
Let me see if I can... I don't think I have a manufacturer in my base. No, oh, these are the ciphers. I don't have any way to build anything. But res I have a healing station. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any way to build that right now. <laughs> That's stupid. That that is new heights of silliness. I I, I have to say that's rather annoying. Oh yeah, we can also do this. Yeah, let's take the turret that does the most damage. <laughs> let's reattach it again. There we go, and end exploration. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm good with that. So, which way do we go? Yep, oh, so let's do the recovery day. And hopefully, the big bad enemy will show up. If you are watching this right now, feel free to say hi in the chat. You don't have to, of course. And uh, if you haven't yet, do make sure to leave this video a like um, and subscribe if uh, if you want to be kept up to date with when I'm streaming. I will make an effort of streaming uh, interesting games um, or in some cases games you might not have heard of. Um, I do have a friend who I stream with regularly, uh, actually a couple of friends, um, so there will definitely be moments where... There will be multiple people on stream, and I've got them all synced in here uh, through Discord, so you will be able to perfectly hear them as well. Um, right. Uh, small artillery formation. I wonder if I can use any of my turrets. Just... Nope. Cannot configure any of them. Okay. I guess they will just blast anything. Right, well... Smart stake wall. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's got an arrow. There we go. Don't have any turrets to place. So, I'll just put a titan spike here. Actually, wait. Titan Spike provides core output. Also, be set to assault mode. Yeah, let's put that here. Set that to. I reckon it'll be. Uh, yeah, no. Let's let's go with that. See how much damage I can do on the front line before it comes back to us. 
And it's probably best if I switch my ammo quickly. And just let my uh, let my turrets do the work. Oh, I forgot there's a turret up there. Yep, that works for me. Yep, now I need to switch my ammo. I will need to charge that turret up there. I just don't know how to get up there, to be honest. There we go. Look at that. Best friends already. <laughs> just this one turret just defeating an army. That would be hilarious. This thing almost needs a reload. Yeah, let's give it that reload. That's it. I will do the following. Yeah. That's what I thought. Because there's no point trying to keep the facility if... Uh, leaving the turret there and just letting the ammo get wasted when it breaks. Okay, this is getting slightly... Well, it's not spicy yet. There we go, now my turrets are... There we are. Ah. That big guy is giving me a lot of grief. Yeah, let's drop this thing. There we go, that, that did him in. No, I could totally do. That would be a good idea to pick up. I should probably uh, use one of these ammo boxes for me. Oh man, this is gonna come down to it. I'll keep my turrets fed, but... I'm not sure how we're gonna fare here. That looks awesome though.
If I can get that. There we go. Okay, they're all looking fine. That one's got a little bit less because it shoots. Oh no, it doesn't shoot past it, it just had. Okay. Okay, here's the Apostle. I'll pick up all the goodies. Whoops, that was a bit too close for comfort. Let's just run back, let the turrets do their thing. No point in being a hero. Oh, do I not have the space? Yeah, looks like I don't. Come on, I should totally be able to... Wait, can I? Do I have space? No. There isn't... Isn't anything in there, is there? Yeah, no. Alright, looks like I might have to leave that last turret behind unless I can... swap it out. Or something that I don't need as badly. Oh, screw that. Don't need that bit. There we go. That worked. <laughs> ah! There we go, let's leave. Too bad. I have found something interesting during our last sortie. We received a close range communication from Outpost 7. I believe this to be from their forward recon unit. I do not have the clearance to read this. I suggest you deliver this to the general. Okay. Let's... Levi, I got news from Outpost 7. 
I received a communication from Outpost 7 during the last tour. Sending it to you now. I'll get the others. Everyone, we've just received news from Outpost 7. This is Outpost 7. I have the prototype OSC core and will be returning to base soon. I'm reading enemy signals in the area, but they don't pose a threat as of now. The three transports we sent have gone dark near the border of the snow ruins. I'm fearing for the worst. The data carried by the transport has been covered with a silicon carbide shell and disguised as waste. Please retrieve it as soon as possible. The estimated coordinates of the crash site have been encoded into this transmission. Over and out. Things get real busy every time I hear Polina's voice. Still thinking about grabbing a core in a time like this. She's always like that. The situation doesn't sound very dire, but we still need to provide Outpost 7 with the necessary support. Walter and Matt, you two head to the border woodland to deploy decoys. Help Erica direct the drop pods from our SS2 toward the Golden Peaks. Roland, Alex, Miriam, you three will clear out the marked envoy forces. Make sure you completely neutralize them. Faye, your task is to recover the data on the last two transports. The coordinates will be sent to your AI. Everything depends on the OSC and Outpost 7. Make sure you bring them back. Roger that. Tough fight ahead of us. We must make sure our medical facilities can bear the load. I want you to make sure they're up to the task. Head over to the research center. I've already sent over the details. Roger that. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward. Alright, let's talk with Victor in the research center. I don't know why I keep walking everywhere when I can just do this. I can just teleport. <laughs> Seems like a waste of time. Sir? Come check out our latest work. Oh, I'm here. Okay, that's good. How many tech points do I have? 88. Oh, I can start research on all of that as well. Uh, this is all worth it. In a triangular tie, I don't know why I would need that. Okay. 
Just wondering what else we should invest points in. Scorches. Gathers and purifies rain. I mean, these would be pre pretty good. Vertical springboard. There we go. All right, I'm going to be taking a very quick break here. I will be right back in this stream. So um, don't go anywhere. I'll be gone for about, I don't know, five minutes-ish, and then I'll be right back. I will see you guys shortly. Okay.
All right, and we are back. Sorry, sorry for that delay. Took a little longer than I wanted it to. Um, you probably heard my wife right at the beginning going, "Come back, come back." Uh, she wanted me to help her with her game. <laughs> so, uh, but then she figured it out herself. So good on her, you know. Always, uh, always proud when she manages that. Leave it to me. Okay, let's go to medical. I'm not gonna walk there. <laughs> I can just, I can just teleport. Why would I walk there? First time here. This is the medical center where we treat the wounded. Okay, that's excellent. Okay. Oh, looks like there's nobody wounded, right? Uh, That's it. I should probably get back to work. <laughs> yeah, that is it. <laughs> there was nothing there. <laughs> That's true both on the battlefield and the operation table. Faye, report to the intelligence center as soon as possible. Okay. Will do. Oh, wrong way. Intelligence center, there we go. Uh, you're here, Faye. You look exhausted. When you and Outpost 11 were being targeted by Orbital Drop, the boss suddenly ordered me to attack the enemy's network. Although it wasn't a complete success, it did manage to divert the enemy's air wing. That bought the recovery fleet 10 minutes of safe passage. Not gonna lie, I've never scanned through so much code in such a short given time. The boss said it was even worse. Can't even begin to tell you how taxing the whole thing was. Thanks. While I'm still lucid, let me tell you a bit about sending operatives on dispatch. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Dispatch connecting. Requirements not met. Right, what about this one? Requirements not met. One more thing. Hair squad just arrived from the hive. Check it out if you want. <sighs> Poor lady. The more the merrier. It's not like they're doing anything sitting around. Some of the operatives. Nightingale? Hmm? Right. If you have any operatives sitting around doing nothing, send them to me. Understood. Will do. That seems sensible. To the barracks before your next sortie, Faye. All right, to the barracks. Mr. Julian has brought you some reinforcements from the hive. They have been placed in your reserve. The intelligence division is still trying to establish contacts with civilian militias. Once they do, we'll be getting a continuous stream of manpower. Recruit some new operatives for your outpost. They'll help you deal with a plethora of situations. Let's check your reserve for now. Awesome, okay. Did I get Brian twice? <laughs> oh no, this is Boris. Love it. Go. 
Iris. Cool. One left. Poeta. I like her armor. The shoulder pads and... It, initially I thought that was for some reason a weirdly front-mounted jetpack, you know, so you could quickly step back. But um, now I'm realizing that's a really, really weird type of front armor for women. Yeah, I don't have any recruit cards left. Be a good leader and lead your squad with distinction. I will. Okay. I just received the roster of the new operatives. Okay. Again, why am I doing this to myself? And to you. <laughs> We're currently short staffed. You should assign any idle personnel to base positions to increase the proficiency of each department. Extra hands are never a bad thing. Now, please open the base management terminal. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's just put Brian in there. Sure. different parameters when it comes to base building right please take note of this and assign them to the most appropriate positions Faye, a new mission has just arrived check it out at the command division yep. we have received the coordinates of the first transport near the snow ruins the exact location has been synced to your terminal once all prep is complete, get ready to head out. Okay, let's do that. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Why does it show... Oh, cool, yeah, 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 okay. Base of protests will be gone for good if they're lost during operation. Right. Local operatives. Griffith, Griffith. Base operative, base operative. Use a primitive in your barrack to start exploration. Yep. I am happy with that. Let's explode out. Let's go. Please confirm the area. Snow ruins. Yeah, Please go on in. Confirm operation. Commander of Outpost 11, Faye Pratt. Sortie authorization granted. Outpost 11, launch confirmed. Wait, what does that say? Once you start the tour, there's no turning back. If you abandon the tour, you will face MIA. Launch confirmed. Okay, well, what if I quit the game? Just out of curiosity.
guessing I should probably go in that direction. Regular exploration, regular exploration. Okay. Right. Bear with me one moment here. Okay, so I can check that the audio is coming through well. It seems to be coming through well. Yep, that's fine. Ah, yes, I remember this. We need to find a ball and we need to put the ball into the... Uh... Oh, yeah, no, not what I had in mind. I was just going to pick up the... Rocket launcher. Hey. There it is. Damn it. There we go. this house then <laughs> I love that they do this it's like pick lock well how about no <laughs> it's just it's just nonsensical and then for this room same thing If you're seeing that weird field in front of me, by the way, that's just me uh, auto-picking up stuff. Uh, because I do have gloves that essentially uh, have kind of like a grab function where it just picks up whatever's nearby. That is that. Oh, that's disposable. Moderately reduces firing interval, moderately increases element buildup. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. There should literally be no enemies coming at us at all right now. This should be a very, very quick one. Yeah, that's that. 
Alright, and an exploration. Done. Back to the tactical map. Uh, let's go to the uh, text block. Text block? I feel like there was something meant to be there. I, I, I feel like this is something they forgot to fill in. Text block. Alright, let's proceed. Detecting a stash in that nearby crater. Try to avoid the harmful Xenium if you intend to retrieve it. Alright, yeah, let's go to that silly stash first. Don't touch the ground. Look for something to stand on. Oh, there seem to be quite a few enemies somewhere in that direction. Interesting. Cryo barrel. Oh, hey, buddy. Let me uh, swap the ammo that I'm using. Just so I have something for now to use. It's okay, so now we just go to the one. Freeze! I didn't mean it literally. Horrible puns aren't what you came for, you're in for a long ride. <laughs> I feel bad for my wife, you know, she is still exploring the depth of how horrible my puns can be. That's that's that. All right. And this this is definitely something that could and slash or should be checked out. Oh hi. I feel like that guy was literally like, yeah, if I if I don't move, he won't see me. That's that's not how it works, unfortunately. Sorry, robot. I see stuff below me. I don't see a way to go down, though. There's no key card. Yep, yeah, it's not. Oh, wow, that is a lot of lockers and everything else. I can show you exactly what I'm going to do with these. Oh wow. Barely anything in them. Okay. Well, oh, fair enough. Explore and collect archive data. I would assume... I would assume that it's up there. Oh, now my backpack's full. Yeah.
Oof. Evasion boots. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go and bring up some of the stuff to the base, and then I'll go back to that tower. Let's go back. Go up this tower. So one thing I can tell you is that because of how big the bases can get, um, some of these levels, at least at a higher level, become incredibly boring and stale because the enemies are so close that when you spawn in, essentially uh, your turrets take out everything on the map and then there's absolutely nothing left for you to fight and you're basically just pretending to be a loot goblin oh no i should have caught that oh well eh, it's damaged now oh well <laughs> nothing we can do about that i like how it pointed it out for me even the game got fed up with how long i spent on this on this map <laughs> yeah, let's add this ammo because there's absolutely no point in keeping that ammo around if I'm not really going to be using it which I won't, because there's only very little of it. Okay. It's not like I will really need to do much. Oh, I didn't realize there were turrets underneath there. I was entirely unaware of that. Huh. Well, that's good to know. Exploration. The energy, wow. Okay, let's go uh, explore. Ah. I love how you can just jump through these struts. Makes no sense. And that's that. Oh, next one. Okay, it's these barrack things. Sure. You missed. Uh, 
There we go. Those were a couple of couple of good things. This Yeah, you can check the vehicles. If you feel like it. Take the tires off. Yeah, well, we can end this exploration right now, so I'm not gonna hold you guys back. Turrets are doing good work. That's Odin talk? Talk to who? Oh, I guess that's just for the mic. Let's do the recovery, recovery day. I reckon after this mission, I'm probably going to end the stream just because tomorrow I have to be up bright and early, and I want to make sure that I that I do that. Yeah. Small artillery formation. Right, there's a turret there, and there's a turret there. Right, those cost 300, so that's... that makes sense. Right. Oh, I don't have enough materials for res conversion, that is... very sad. Nor to craft anything, okay. Yeah, going forward I need to gather more materials. Way more materials. I believe this tank, yeah, should have three shells in it, and it does. I think this, yeah, you would need to take it apart. Gather power. That's about that. We should be fine, but realistically I need more defenses. I need defenses that I can deploy at the front, and quite frankly, between you and me, no idea how to do that. And I don't think I could... Uh, Oh, actually, hold on a minute. Oh, yeah, I can just enable auto fire. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Enable auto fire. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go down there and help those turrets out. Otherwise, they're going to get overrun right on the first go. Which is not ideal. Yeah, this one's already going to get overrun. Damn it. Yeah, they already broke the tower that I was going to... Yeah. I have never had to deal with a flanking attack before. This should go fine. And if it doesn't, then it's all my fault. So, here we are. <laughs> oh well. Yep, oh, okay, so these turrets are... Oh yeah, they need time. Ooh, okay. How's this one faring? Yeah, that one's still fine. It's the one up top because it sees it earlier. Makes sense. from the right as well. Alrighty. <laughs> I like how the turrets every time something goes over where it should be. Okay, these guys are going to destroy my outpost if I don't do anything about it. Now I need to make sure that my uh, turrets have enough ammo. Oh, okay. I have... Oh, okay. Yep, the roof just caved in. Because the enemies are assholes. Obviously. This is going to be tight. Should still make it through, but clearly I need to build my base up better, because they're just blowing my roofs off, they're not even bothering with the like sides, just straight up blowing my roofs off. Oh man, everything is out, oh no no no. Oof. And it's too close for my turrets. 
Yeah, I might, I might have totally outdone myself here. As in, totally not outdone myself. Oh, 13 seconds is all this is gonna hold. Woof, woof. No way. No, 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 come on. Oh man. Yeah, this is the moment you cut your losses. Damn it. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. I believe that means none of my stuff extracts. And I should totally put some armor plates in. Yeah. Yeah, I screwed up. I screwed up bad. Ah, if I had gotten just a little bit... A little bit more ammo, a little bit quicker. Oh, come on. Yeah, it feels like they're just building around my evac point now. Okay, well, at least this thing can still do some damage. I feel as though I should have used the... Uh, Oh, we might still be able to make it out. Should should be able to make it out. Alright, let's go. I wonder what happens to my base now. As in, will I get my base back? Or what's happening? Oh, man. Yeah, emergency evac. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Clearly, I need to build that better. Okay. Recovery fleet crashed. Okay. Okay, well, I only lost that little bit of cargo. That's not too bad. <laughs> so funny to me. Every time you load in, her, her boobs jiggle. <laughs> like, <laughs> the physics getting used to things. Okay, so I failed to recover it, so next stream I guess I'll be doing that. <laughs> oh man. Well, ending on a high note, I guess. <laughs> Kidding. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you had a good time. Um, I am probably going to be streaming on uh, Monday again, I believe. Um, my buddy and I, we're, we're going to try and stream every Monday and Thursday, and everything in between is extra. Uh, I will try to stream as much as possible, of course, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Gotta, gotta get our schedules sorted out, and I am notoriously bad at keeping my times, because I'm a bit of a dick. Uh, in any case, this is Hidden Blade. Thank you so much for watching. Love, peace, and gaming to y'all, and I'm out. Have a good night.